was a big, big news story. And there's actually a really great question that came in from one of you at home. So this is from Aaron. If farmers were to plant trees between fields like they did in the 1930s, would it stop excessive wind and dust? And Aaron is on to something because going back in the history books, if you go back to the 1930s, which of course is when we had the Dust Bowl, this picture here from the Library of Congress shows the farmer in their field. This is in Oklahoma, literally trying to unbury the fence posts that were buried in all of the dirt and the sand. Uh, yeah, there was an initiative that was started to plant trees between the fields to actually cut down on the amount of blowing dust and the wind. This is what's referred to as the Great Plains Shelter Belt, and it was stretching from nearly Canada, the U.S. Canadian border, all the way down to Oklahoma and Texas. But you have to remember that was almost 100 years ago when nearly 220 million trees were planted with this government program after the Dust Bowl. And now that we've been that far removed from when this initiative was first put in place, a lot of those trees are now, they're old and they're falling apart. And they've also been impacted by severe drought that's ongoing there right now as well. So there is some renewed conservation programs that are in progress right now to try and help rebuild that same type of uh, shelter, if you will, that was out to the west, but growing concern that as drought continues to intensify there, if we don't replace those trees, that could happen all over again. So Aaron is correct. He's onto something there. You can read more about it at WQAD.com. Just for